and welcome back to the channel hope everyone is doing well if you're back in here hit that thumbs up let's get straight into this so today i just want to run over something that something i don't necessarily agree with when it comes to manifesting and how it doesn't actually serve you in the future also a certain technique that the person used that i gave them in order to get what they wanted i'll give that at the end but i first just want to get this other part out of the way and that is essentially that whenever i want to manifest something i always think about everybody else involved and i always think about them winning because i have this full imagination to work with so everybody in that vision must win that's just my own personal opinion there's no reason for them not to win and that's why i don't agree with when people end up getting hurt just so that you can have what you want clear example is if say for instance someone is in love with someone and that person is married and every night you do the techniques and you go through the whole process well then you have to think to yourself something has to start turning in that person's life with the person that they're married to they have to take a huge dip separation has to occur depression like people have to go through some form of torture really just in order for you to get what you want eventually and to me that's not going to reflect well on you because i believe that everybody else is just you pushed out and this brings it back to the example now i didn't know the backstory of the actual situation but a friend told me that he liked someone and i asked him what's stopping you he was kind of reluctant to tell me what was going on and i gave him one of the techniques that i use long story short it worked like magic of course and everything that he wanted to happen happened and he told me it almost happened down to the exact t i think he actually did say everything he thought about before it happened happened exactly as he saw it in his vision but just before that what happened is he visualized something went into the wish fulfilled that was his decision he was there it was already done and then what happened is things started moving into a weird direction where she went quiet she wasn't replying to his messages and he thought that it's a waste of time this thing isn't working eventually the whole situation took place and so eventually he did ask her you know after the thing happened you can kind of guess what he was trying to manifest actually worked out for him after everything happened he asked her and he said hey i didn't even think we were gonna be this close because during this whole period right before you went quiet you weren't replying to my messages and things like that and essentially what happened was she had someone who was very close to her another guy and they had been friends for many years and this guy actually liked her she almost looked at him as who she was going to be in a relationship with and she said things just started getting weird in terms of he was getting frustrated and i don't know the exact details but there was a lot of friction in between their relationship and so they decided to stop spending so much time together give each other some room this was the person that she used to talk to all the time someone who was really close to her and she then went into a state of depression she was suffering as anybody would who sort of loses someone that they're really close with and that's why she wasn't there mentally and socially to be able to talk to my friend and the, what's interesting is how it worked out was that she just needed to talk to someone and so what ended up happening was that she saw the messages from my friend and she thought well at least he's trying to talk to me let me reply to him and that's when she actually went to go visit him you can guess what happened and his whole manifestation took place so he was complaining about how she wasn't talking to him and things and then i just explained to him and i said well you see this is why everything is happening because of you there's nothing happening that you didn't 
put into motion like she had to go through this dip and all this torture and depression so that the thing that you wanted to do could work out that's why i don't agree with those types of things and it's something i actually would have brought up to him if he had told me the full situation i just thought it was some person that he liked and he wanted to get to know closer and then you see this is what happens you know and then now some time after he's not even in contact with this person and so now you look at the situation and you see in my opinion it's kind of done more damage to this whole situation she's lost a friend this guy's lost someone that he probably really liked for many years they don't even speak anymore and she has also lost someone that she probably started to like recently because my friend doesn't even speak to her anymore so that's the type of damaging things that can happen that's why to me it's like you got to take that accountability in terms of know exactly what you're doing and no one should be getting hurt because at the end of the day that's going to reflect back to you somewhere you got to ask yourself what if you are the other person in that situation you wouldn't want this to happen and to me it's it's a little bit more common but i guess not everybody thinks that way and so i'll just run over the technique which i showed him and this is i mean it's not specifically for a specific person it's just this is how you i anchored myself within the wish fulfilled and got some of the things that i wanted and essentially this is what you do so you get into your your state akin to sleep so i used to do this every night before bed just as neville says i did the the jose silva method which is obviously i've given that before i'll leave it in the comment section or in the description because that really gets you down into the subconscious mind it kind of makes you fall asleep a bit shuts down the body shuts down the mind and just has you really open to be able to visualize and manifest things once i do that and as i'm lying in bed i will essentially look at the scene so what i did was i looked at people congratulating me at for success on my youtube but it's not really important right now so how i did this was i visualized myself sitting at this restaurant the way the chair felt underneath me right there was a wooden bar chair underneath me i could feel the wood even in my visualization i could feel i had to adjust myself because it's a wooden chair i could smell the smoke around people were smoking close by so i could smell the smoke i don't smoke but this all just adds to anchoring you into it i had a beer in front of me cold beer condensation and my fingertips were wet i could feel the actual beard was cold i could taste the beard everything down to the last detail and i could see the sight in the whole restaurant people moving around a big buzz colors the just the vibrant energy and how i felt in there how i felt in there comes from the fact that known faces were coming up to me and telling me wow congratulations i saw this and me replying saying thanks man i've been re working real hard on this and then that's just it that's this the five second scene i would change the person every single time and eventually you're so anchored to it because of you've put yourself there with all your senses you know and you do one sense at a time so how does the chair feel the smell what you're seeing tasting you don't try to do it all at once you build up the image and then you just play it and i did that every day for two weeks and the exact thing played out that i saw in my head still to this day it's the craziest thing ever so that's how i showed him how to do it he obviously did it in his own way specifically to get what he wanted like i said you can guess what he probably did and it was successful and so this is it's really powerful but you also you gotta take that accountability that if you are breaking a happy home if you will 
then of course the person that you even like is going to have to go through some sort of suffering process. And this is why I'm very much against that type of thing. But also when that person then goes quiet and gets depressed and stuff, you can't just sit back and go, oh, well, maybe they're just not into me. It's like, no, the universe is conspiring to give you what you want. And this is how it has to be done. Something has to break there in order for you to fix it. So you can't, that's why it's midway through. Oh, she's not interested in me. She's not talking to me. She's quiet. I'm going to go do something else. Well, no, this is what's happening. So you can't question your manifestations. It has to play out. That's just my opinion on that. Anyways, if you liked the video, hit a thumbs up. Share it with someone who needs to know this because honestly, this to me is almost like the darker side of how these things work. At the end of the day, you want everybody to win. Your mind has endless possibilities for you to think of. You can put a smile on everyone's face. Everyone's laughing. Everyone is sharing in the spoils of life. There's no reason for anybody to be hurt. And that's just it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'm out. Peace. Old videos over there. There. Subscribe over here. Bye.